AFTV, Charlene, can you believe it? We are out of the FA Cup in the third round again. A competition that we've won more times than anybody. A competition that probably normally nobody wants to draw us because they know we've got such good pedigree in this competition. Out in the first round again. Mate, I can't believe it at all. I don't think any Arsenal fan can. I mean, this is our cup, the FA Cup. You know, we've won it the most times. And to come out in this manner as well, it was a poor performance from us. Got turned over by Nottingham Forest. It's a disgrace. When, when you look at it and you look at the, the players that stepped in today, did anybody, anybody in that squad or, or that starting eleven, show you that they deserve to play again, you know, say against Liverpool? Or do you just look at it and say all of them were poor? If, I, if I'm completely honest, I think the whole team was poor. But I do give credit to Charlie Patino. I mean, it was his first start today and I mm. feel like he really went out there and made a bit of an impression. You know, he did really try. Uh, Leno as well made some saves, you know. Mm. Scoreline could have been a lot higher. So them two, but everyone else was just shambolic. Like, I can't, I can't believe what I saw today. At all. I mean, Holden, he started off well. And we thought, oh, okay, is this what Holden's really doing? Wearing that captain armband as well. Looked like it really made a difference. Then it all just turned around. But yeah, it was a terrible performance from everyone today. Let me ask, let me be frank here now, right? Somebody, let me name a few players. You tell me, are they good enough for Arsenal? So Rob Holden, is he good enough for Arsenal? <laughs> I hate I know I'm putting you on the <laughs> spot but and shaming and is he good enough no I'm just saying let's, the reality of it is right is that I'm not saying to get rid of them now or whatever but the reality of it is right we're looking at we're looking at Arsenal we want to get back to being a team that challenges for the league is Rob holding good enough do you know he's he's inconsistent he has good moments but he's not consistently good Cedric I did like Cedric initially, but I don't know. Where he ain't been getting the minutes and everything. I feel like he's dipped, so no. Eddie and Ketia. I do like Eddie, but I don't I like really think... everybody, but I, yeah. I like I like them as well. I like listen, I like these players as well. But are they good enough to get Arsenal back to challenging for the league? That's the question I'm asking. You know, that's what Mikel Arteta will be asking himself as well. Mm -hmm. He wants to build a squad that's good enough to challenge. Are those guys good enough? If I'm being completely ruthless, then Eddie Nketa perhaps needs more experience. So, no. Mm. no. And, you know, did they care enough today, those players? And I'm not just talking about those three. I'm on about the whole team. Did they care enough going into that game? Because for me, I called it at the time when I was w w when before it started. I said, these man forests, they're going to be up for it. They're at home. We've already seen a weekend full of upsets and shocks. Right? It's been happening all weekend, right? And Forrest will be looking at it and say, we're at home, and you know what? We know that Arsenal are going to be a change team. We're going to really rattle them up, and they did. Yeah. Were we ready for that? You know what I mean? It's almost like we didn't expect that. Yeah, we didn't. I mean, Forrest come out there with some aggression, and we just came out there, looked like we, we weren't bothered. We didn't show any care at all. And even though the game started like that, I thought, all right, second half, we really need to pick up now. This is the FA Cup. If we don't win today, we're out. Um, but we didn't show that on the pitch at all. It's like we didn't care at all. And we just carried on with the same performance from the first half. There was no improvements. If anything, we looked worse in the second half than the first. Mm. So no, them players didn't show they cared at all. It didn't mean nothing to them. They didn't think about what this cup means to Arsenal and the fan base. They didn't show no care, no fight, nothing. It was not good enough. Liverpool next week, you know. <laughs> As I was sort of saying earlier, and I mean, if... Had it have been, had it have they seen that game last week, n there was no way they would have cancelled that game. They would definitely have played it yeah. because, you know. But can we go and now beat Liverpool over two legs in the Carabao Cup? There's so much volatility in the team because, you know, in big games, sometimes we do come up and we show up like the Man City game. No one went expecting us to put out a performance like that that we did. So it is questionable. I mean, Arsenal, we have made improvements, but we're still very volatile. A game like today, we should have won. So coming up against Liverpool, you just don't know what sort of Arsenal's going to turn up. We ain't got our first team. This reserve team, just not good enough. But are they going to realise, OK, we messed up. We're out of the FA Cup. All we've got now is the league and the Carabao Cup. 
We really need to go and show up for this game. Are they going to show that on the pitch? I'm hoping they will. You think they will? It's so questionable. I expect them to. You know, there's, there's some form of quality there. Not enough, if I'm completely honest. Not enough quality. But we should be able to go out there and try something.